Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. So we're here again in the lion exhibit and what we're going to be doing today is just the, well, just the all, uh, just all of the vegetation -y type stuff, that kind of uh, bits and pieces. I think I, it's kind of good that I show this, I guess. Um, I think it just makes makes it kind of make sense. Uh, so I'm going to make my own acacia trees, which is luckily one of the only trees I can make. So we're going to make this, we're actually going to make this one here and then make it angled this way, I think. Or maybe, yeah. So I'm going to use the next, next acacia wood that he's made. It's awesome texture. I love this one. Out of all of them. Out of all of them? Not really. But um, out, of, out of the textures he's made, this is one of the better ones, I think. Just kind of unique. So we're going to have like, a tree spin off there. It also needs one like spin off. Like... There. That's really horrible. There. And probably another branch coming off here or something. So there. That's going to need to, need to be one around here, isn't there? A little one or something. Okay, well, we'll do something like that for now, and then try and get that one there, the covered up one. There we go, like that. That will then give us a little bit to work with. Now, I can't remember what you actually use for these, but I'm going to use the same. It might have even been. I don't think it's a cage, actually. I think it's dark oak wood leaves. Ooh. Interesting. I didn't actually use the cage leaves for acacia. Quite cool, isn't it? Right, there we go. I'm just going to do something like this. It's a really olive colour, this, isn't it? It's quite interesting. I think it actually is. Yeah, probably olive colour is a good, good description of it. Right, there we go. I'm going to have like this. I'm just going around. Yeah, and the trees could probably... Uh, the trees? The, <laughs> the cats could probably climb up it or whatever. I think that fits in, doesn't it? My only One of my only trees that I can make. Well, like the three different types of trees. There you go, there's my acacia. And it works fine, I think. Yeah, that's good. Let me just do a little bit like that. So that works there. There you go, that gives us like a little bit of um, stuff there. I was also going to do it here as well, like another one. So if we, oh, actually, if we can do it this way and this works. Doesn't quite, no. Well, yeah, I'm going to do it up leaves. Because <laughs> I can. There you go. So I'm going to do this weird tree. Also, I've got a better uh, foliage mod. That's what's giving me all these really cool leaves and stuff. If you guys that are wondering. The leaves that have got like the 3D blocks. This is almost like the um, the 3D textures in 1.8. Uh, it's, it's very similar in how it's actually, you know, how they're done, I think. Uh, but it gives like these extra blocks and things. Um, it just makes... Generally makes everything look better. Also, the leaves falling and things just add to atmosphere like really well. There we go. So we get that. And we've got another one really quickly. And there we go. Now let's just drag it across here. So these are like Lord Dacker's guide to really simple crappy trees. As uh, so you guys love them, obviously. And cut that out there. Right, there we go. I'm just going to cut out a couple more there. That kind of works, doesn't it? So we've got two of them there. They look like acacia trees. I'm actually not going to use that <laughs> that horrible material I used before. There's another one over here. Maybe we'll have like a couple there. Um, around the sand pit, maybe. I have one. I like how they're all kind of going the same direction, but they all end up same, like basically the same anyway, don't they? All right, there we go. Yeah. Something like that, maybe? Maybe we do something like that. No, no. Like that. Something like that. Yeah, it's going to be just really thick or whatever. There. Like that. There, and do these. And we'll get onto the bushes as well. Here in a second. I think I'm going to have to do it bit by bit and just, just see how it all works together. I can't remember what bushes I used on the other one. I don't think going to be easy. This one actually came up a little bit too, too flat, I think. I think I need to raise up like one of these, for example. Because that pushes you over. Whereas this one doesn't. There we go. Like that. Oh, there. Uh. 
Okay, and then on the back as well. There we go. There you go, that looks good. Ooh, actually, no, that, that one, for some reason this one doesn't look right. I think it needs to have a bit of an underhang as well. One bit of it just seems a bit too empty, I think. There you go, something like that. To push it out a little bit, maybe a little bit more as well. Yeah. Okay, so we get that, and I don't think we want one over here, because we want this to be quite open, I guess, don't we? Don't wanna, don't wanna push that bit up. So we'll have like an opening bit over here. This is gonna be like the jungly bit. Maybe a really, really small one, like up here. Just like that. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make a really small one right here. It's like a really baby, <laughs> baby little acacia. Or maybe it's just like a bush. To be honest, this is more of a bush, isn't it? There you go, so you just get a tiny little bush. Bush acacia thing. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so what else do we need? We also need like logs and things that are just lying around. Um, for them to like play with. So maybe we're gonna do I'll do a different type of wood for this. Uh, we could go with oak or something, or maybe the jungle one, because the bark on the jungle one looks like it'd be kind of fun to rip apart. So you know that this would like, like scratch at it, and maybe this is a tree that they've actually scratched at rather than anything else. Uh, so there you go, get a little bit of fun for them. Good. Now, what kind of bushes did I actually use on this? I know that I was supposed to do bushes everywhere. At some point, I probably will do. Let's just do speed 5. Let's have a look. So, I kind of used a bit of everything, I think. Didn't really limit myself, so I used, you know, normal ones like that. Uh, birch and stuff and jungle. Those ones? Yeah, that's fine. So, I used those. We used a couple of fence ones as well. There we go. Such a small enclosure now that I look at it. Compared to that one, which is absolutely monumental. I don't know how or... Well, I don't know why I started on that one. A bit weird, but... Oh, well. Alright, so we're just going to have, like, a couple of bushes around here. So, that's what makes them look so good, is these, um... Is this type. And actually, that is going to look quite good. If we have, like, a different coloured one. Because of the Extreme Hills biome. It actually does colour them. Really nicely. So, I'm going to have that. A little bit of... Oh. Yeah, just birch, I think. Okay, and if I do not grab a golden nugget, grab this, and I'll actually change these. We can make them really interesting colours, as well as over here. Maybe we'll have a couple uh, oakwood, oakwood, no oak ones. And I'll actually get this to Tiger Mountains. Will that do it? No. Ice planes. I think that'll give like a brown. There you go, like that a reddish brown type colour. So it's really cool. Um, we'll also have some let's see, oak ones again. So I'll just get some jungles here. Get some yellows in there as well. And obviously just some. Oh, those are the normal ones we just used. Maybe not too much there. To have a little bit of. I think we need a little bit of variation. You know, Otherwise it's just going to be a bit boring. Go like that, and those. We we'll jungle around this bit as well. Try and make it look a little bit more like it's in a, you know, like it continues on. Now that obviously worked for the the dudes as well. Let's see, the dudes obviously being uh, <laughs> what dudes be? That's a nice like mix, isn't it? Okay, and then maybe a couple more around here as well. Is that gonna? Yeah, so that one won't work. At least do it there. Okay, well that's, that's kind of good. Right, so let's have a look at that. That's now looking a lot better. I think this corner as well. Find a couple of like jungles. Uh, 
That looks cool. Oh, this looks a bit more interesting now. It's a lot, lot more interesting, I think. We even just have a little bit around here, so then they can go around up here. And behind this tree, they can kind of hide a little bit. Obviously, here's a little bit more plain. Yeah, not so much that one. Maybe that one. There we go. That looks a lot better. I think that's just added so much more interest to the whole, um, the whole exhibit. It really has, hasn't it? Because now it looks a lot more wild. Very, very detailed as well. Well, I'd say very detailed. It's not super detailed, obviously, but it's pretty good. I think we can also do this in this episode then. So we've already got that water there. Uh, we're just going to have some like hay type bits here. Right there. We just have these in the floor. There you go. Like that. I'm just going to build that up as well. There we go. Just something simple. I know they wouldn't obviously eat hay, but they can use it for bedding and stuff. I don't know what they would do for bedding, but there we go. We get that at least. Uh, it's pretty blank on the rest of it because we don't really want too much in there. Uh, it's just like more of a fake um, fake cave, really, isn't it? But there you go. That has pretty much done it. Um, I think that's pretty good. I know it's going to be a very, very short episode compared to the rest of them anyway. I know it's a lot shorter. But I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. Um, I've also done around these sides and, and kind of filled in a little bit of the back. I think, yeah, let's just redo these. Like that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And probably even this as well. I think you guys will agree that does look a lot cooler. It's made it very interesting, hasn't it? You know, we've got the water thing here so they can blah, do that, that thing. I just did. Might put just a couple around here. There you go. And then we just leave the sand ones. Like a sand pit thing. Got some trees. I think that looks really good though. Um, hopefully you guys have liked this episode. I know it's a bit shorter. What we're going to do next episode? We're going to build, or we're going to try to build a lion. Um, hopefully. I don't know. I'm going to see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just going to have one or a couple of them. We'll see. I think we'll have one there and one up there or something. We'll try and do a male and a female, I think. I don't think we're going to be able to fit three of them in there now that I've done a lot of the terrain. Alright guys, so instead of actually ending the episode, so yep, that was a false one. Um, and what's actually going to happen is, I'm going to show you guys this. This is really, really cool. These are a design by Let's Lente. I, I don't know, I, I'm sure it's Dutch. So, Dutch people, and I know I've got loads of Dutch people that watch me because you're awesome. Um, I don't know how to say it. I, I, whenever he says it, he says it really fast, but um, that's Lente. There's a tutorial on YouTube. If you type out, I'll type in Minecraft Lion Tutorial, you guys will come across this one. Uh, it's just awesome. It worked really perfectly. I didn't think any there's any reason for me to build my own. Uh, I have changed little bits of it, like he wanted me to, well, wants you to do like a full block there. Um, I just found that a stair looked better, so I've kind of had a look at it. Uh, I wasn't even tempted to knock that one off, but I think it does need something there. Uh, so in the back ones here, there was actually full blocks. Um, I think I think it actually works better there. I forgot that I've actually got this on. Uh, so there you go, you get those two in there. Um, also the back piece, uh, instead of having it just like this, oh, like that, um, I, I wanted to kind of turn it around a little bit because I found it a little bit straight. Uh, I think I've actually forgotten about a tail on my other one. Oh, I've already got that. Okay. And yeah, I tried to make a lioness. I don't know if it works or not. Uh, this, this thing. Yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. Maybe we need that instead. I don't know. It's really difficult to make a lioness uh, with this one because they do have well, normal faces. Uh, maybe we could do some... Trip. I'm sure this is going to then ping these off though. Something. Nope. Okay. Maybe this can be the ears. I don't know. You guys get, tell me if this looks like more of a giant sloth. I think it looks like a giant sloth, but um, it's close as I could come to a female one. I basically just took the model and modified it a little bit and tried to, to mess around with it. Uh, but it, yeah, it kind of works. But I think the main one there um, just works perfectly. So go and check them out. Go and check out that tutorial. There you go. It's right on this sign. Right here if you guys can see that <laughs> hopefully I think it just works from a distance obviously I've stuck some buttons on it as well as his eyes because we can do that with uh, with uh, magic but I think that works I think that's all we're gonna have yes I know that they don't fit in here now because they're huge but they look good so yeah that's 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 the better more important thing I think but tell me what you think anyway 
anyway guys that is it for me for this uh, kind of episode finally on this episode I, I don't know what we're going to be doing next but we need to get some more stuff in here maybe we can do some monkeys or something um, something a little bit different would be good but anyway thanks very much for watching guys I will see you on the next one